Dr. Smith, Mrs. Fisher, members of the Bellevue Board of Education, School-Based Decision-Making Council, faculty members, parents and guardians, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 133rd commencement of Bellevue High School and the graduation of the class of 2021. Graduation signifies the end, but let us also remember that the term commencement also means the beginning. This is certainly a happy occasion, but it is also bittersweet as this class is leaving Bellevue High School. As we tell our students often, once you were a tiger, you are always a tiger. Our graduates are members of our family, and while they are leaving to begin their adult life, they will always be welcomed back home. We love them, we will miss them, and tonight we celebrate our graduates' achievements while wishing them safe sailing on this journey of life. Please enjoy the moment, for it is far too short, and at the same time, it is also vital in your learning process. Now, please stand for our national anthem and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In all graduating classes, it is customary to recognize high academic achievement. We do so by designating the valedictorian and the salutatorian of our class. Ms. Noel Wolf is our class valedictorian, and Ms. Nicole Recton is our salutatorian. Would you two please stand to be recognized? Thank you. This evening, we will hear from several speakers that will hopefully depart upon you wise wisdom as we move forward. Therefore, it is with great pleasure I introduce Ms. Noelle Wolf, valedictorian of the class of 2021. Good evening, everyone. I'm so happy to be able to see you tonight. A year ago, I never thought we would be lucky enough to have a graduation ceremony. And now, here we are. Now, I know that normally I would give a tra traditional speech reflecting on all the great times we've had together as seniors. But despite everyone's best efforts, we all know this year hasn't been a traditional year. With the pandemic forcing us to take most of our classes online, we've missed out on senior trips, homecoming, and even seeing the bottom halves of each other's faces. However, it wasn't a total loss, and I choose to look at the positive. High school is all about learning, and what we learned this year has better prepared us for the years to come. Now, as freshmen, we all imagined that our last year at Bellevue High School would look a lot different. No one expected a pandemic to come out of nowhere. It was our first real lesson in adulting. Life isn't fair. But while we can't always control what life throws at us, we can control our reaction to it. And our reaction was to pull together as a community and make it work somehow. We learned that our school and family and friends have talents we didn't even know about. 
we saw as teachers became tech support and coaches became therapists and parents became everything from math tutors to guidance counselors. And we are truly grateful for that. How about a round of applause for everyone who made this night happen? Okay. We learned a lot about what we are capable of too. We learned how to roll with the punches and how to react in the face of the unknown. We learned how to manage time and classes on our own. We learned how to communicate in new and different ways. I personally feel like I'm now an expert on both Zoom and Google Meet because of all of this. We learned to cherish the little things, like the short time we did get to spend together, the memories we shared, and toilet paper, especially the toilet paper. We learned that it's not all it's about us, and sometimes traditions have to be sacrificed for the greater good. And most importantly of all, we learned that we're going to be just fine. The transition from being a student in high school to a fully fledged adult has always been and always will be scary. All of a sudden you're thrown into the real world and you don't know what's going to happen. However, with these four years coming to an end and all of us going on our separate paths, I want you to remember this. You're more prepared for the future than you might think. If we can handle this last year of constant changes, then we can handle anything. There's no doubt in my mind that we will all be successful in whatever path we choose as these years move forward. Congratulations, class of 2021. We earned it. Okay. The people seated on the stage are well known to the community of Bellevue, but for all of our guests, I must take a minute to recognize everyone that's up here on the stage. Dr. Rob Smith, Superintendent of Bellevue Independent School District. <laughs> Mrs. Julie Fisher, Board Chair. Board Member, Ms. Jen Owens. Board Member, Ms. Liz Joseph. Board Member, Mr. Dan Swope. Senior class co-sponsors, Ms. Tiffany McGuire and Ms. Charles C. Wheatley. And assistant principals, Mr. Dave Pelgin and Ms. Angie Young. Next, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Rob Smith. Good evening. I get the pleasure of introducing tonight's speaker. Charles C. Wheatley is a 2007 graduate of Connor High School and a 2011 graduate of Northern Kentucky University, where she graduated magna cum laude with a bachelor's in English. Throughout college, she worked in retail for American Eagle Outfitters, where she spent most of her time training high school-aged employees. This work led to a desire to go into teaching which led to NKU's Master of Arts in Teaching program. Ms. Wheatley graduated from the MAT program in 2014. Ms. Wheatley was hired at Bellevue High School in July of 2014 and has just completed her seventh year with the district. She's taught English one, three, and four, as well as mythology, women in literature, verbal communications, and unified content. She has served three years on the school-based decision-making council, as well as junior class sponsor and the district's literacy team. In her fourth year at Bellevue, she accepted the varsity cheer coaching position, which has allowed her another opportunity to build relationships with our students. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce tonight's speaker, Ms. Charles C. Wheatley. Good evening, everyone. To the class of 2021, I imagine you were hoping for a much cooler graduation speaker than me. Someone you aren't sick of looking at and listening to yet, but one thing I can promise that I'll make this quick. You've had an intense 14 months to finish out high school, and I know you're all ready to get your diploma and wrap the last four years up and move on, so I won't drag this out. When I was officially asked to speak tonight, I was pretty nervous, and a select few of you might have told me I just needed a dart. 
but I eventually got around to thinking about what final message I wanted to convey before you leave Bellevue High School forever. And I think the best I can say right now is this, you made it. You're, you've gone through one of the most trying times in our history, learning to navigate your education through an online platform that you've never had to use prior to March of 2020. Life as you knew it stopped, and it will probably never be the same, but if you've learned anything this year, hopefully it's how resilient you can be in the face of change. This year's been hard. There's no other way to put it, even if saying it was hard only really puts it mildly. Between Google Meets and online assignments, You've managed to make it here, graduation, and I cannot stress enough how important that is. Not only has COVID-19 put stress on your education, it has also disrupted your life outside of school. Many of you missed out on sports seasons that you were looking forward to. Some of you worked more than ever to help out at home. You had to give up on traditional high school events and moments that have become synonymous with senior year, and that hasn't been easy. Our goal as a staff was to give you as much normalcy here at the end as we possibly could. And I hope you'll look back in time and see that this year wasn't all bad. In The Great Gatsby, Nick Carraway opens his narration with a quote from his father. He says, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. Growing up and attending Bellevue High School has been an advantage that many people would love to have had. I graduated from Connor with a class of approximately 375 students. I never knew everyone's name. There were teachers in that building that I never even saw, let alone who knew my name, and where I worked, and what sports I played, and who my friends and family were. Bellevue is a special place. It's a community. Here you have peers in class that have been in your classes since kindergarten. You know each other's histories because you've lived them together. While that may be a good or bad thing, it's a shared experience that you'll never get again. You can't change where you're from. You don't get to go back in time to choose to be from a bigger or cooler place, so don't take for granted what you have. In my seven years as a part of this community, I've heard far too many times, oh, I just went to Bellevue, or I'm just from Bellevue. And your success in life depends on you, not on your zip code. People from all walks of life have come from Bellevue and thrived doctors, lawyers, even professional athletes, but also mechanics and nurses and teachers. While Bellevue may, may not be a glittering metropolis, it is a city with people who care about you and your future. Don't discount that because some before you have. We live in a world that changes every day, and as you grow up, you're going to be the change maker, so start now. Look at this town and this school as a gift you were given, not an obstacle you overcame. I asked other teachers if they had anything they wanted me to say tonight, and the resounding response was that many of us have watched you grow since you started here in the seventh grade, and it's been really cool. You've matured in ways that previous classes didn't. Once you switch your tassel to the other side of your cap, you will officially be real people, according to Mr. Graham. And he even says he'd be proud to stand in line beside you to vote. I don't care who you are, that's high praise right there. He also said I could mention that you're his favorite class of all time, but that would be cruel to those classes before you, so I won't do that. Another teacher did add she was just glad certain people would stop stealing her candy all the time. We have been living through a global pandemic for over a year now, and in that time, through so many changes to a daily routine you've perfected over the last 12 years of school, you've made it to this night, and now it's time to celebrate. Celebrate the fact that despite the toughest odds against you, you're now sitting here with your friends, graduating as expected. Once you walk out of here a graduate of Bellevue High School, your life will change. That daily routine will be altered to fit new schedules, work, college classes, vocations. You won't have your teachers to remind you about due dates and upcoming events. That's on you now. You won't sit next to your friends every day to make plans for the weekend. Luckily, most of you are attached to your phone, so that shouldn't be a problem. But this new chapter is also a blessing. You'll make new friends, and you'll find new routines that will reflect your life on your terms, not dictated by a law that says you have to be in school. Be proud of yourselves. Take pride in the fact that you've done it. You've graduated. This is the first major stepping stone to the rest of your life. As a group, you've shown me and your other teachers how smart and insightful and funny you are. Mostly funny. 
I'm not sure any class has made me laugh so much. As a group, you've proven that against the ropes, you'll find success. As a group, you're exceptional. Congratulations, class of 2021. Long story short, you survived. Thank you. At this time, we will have a musical selection from the Band of Gold. Just for everyone's um, knowledge, the Band of Gold has recorded all of the music for tonight since they could not be here. Um, so everything you're hearing is from our band. This time I'm gonna ask the senior members of the Band of Gold to please stand and be recognized for your years with the band. <laughs> Dr. Smith, Mrs. Fisher, members of the Board of Education, with the advice and consent of the faculty of Bellevue High School and the powers vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky, it is my pleasure to present the 133rd graduating class the Bellevue High School Class of 2021. Thank you, Mr. Darnell. There are 53 graduates in the 133rd Annual Commencement, and 52 of our graduates are participating in the commencement exercise this evening in order that all parents, guardians, family members, and friends hear our graduates' names as they are announced, we respectfully ask that you hold your applause until the entire class has completed receiving their diplomas. It is now my distinct honor to announce the Bellevue High School Class of 2021.
Jasmine K. Marie Asbury. Mia Renee Bell. Tyler Scott Berkemeyer. Michaela Rose Marie Billiter. Autumn Ray Brockman. Sean Caleb Bucci. Faith Lynn Bullion. Tanner Susan Ray Clark. Jasmine Marie Commodore. Sienna Jean Cox. Bryson Andrew Dickerson. Lucas Michael Gillespie. Abigail Marie Hall. Ariel Renee Hedgespeth. Deshaun Michael Hensley. Colton Alexander Hissong. Jamie Lynn Holloway. Cole S. Johnson. McKenna Faith Johnson. Trinity Elizabeth Jones. Anna Grace Ketmeyer. Derek A. Leedy. Dylan A. Leedy. Justin Tyler Linthasak. Mackenzie Marie Manley. Morgan Martis. Hiram Jacob Martinez. Elijah Jacob Muller. Victor Lorenzo Perez. Trevor Isaac Pollock. Logan William Purnell. Ricky Vance Randall. Nicole Marie Recton. Serena Ann Roberts. Seth M. Ryan. Gabrielle Paige Schwaninger. Jacob Craig Sebastian. Kyle Allen Smith.
Joshua Luke Stahl. Tristan Lance Sullivan. Gracie Abigail Thompson. Ethan Michael Turner. Alexia Jade Warfield. Andrea Lee Watts. David Robert Weber. Andrew Adam Joel Williams. Autumn Raylin Williams. Owen Scott Williams. Kristen Noel Wolf. Haley Jaden Wooding. Skylar Renee Wooding. Austin Douglas Young. Ladies and gentlemen, please applaud the class of 2021. On behalf of Mr. Darnell, the faculty, and myself, I wish to commend not only the fine class of young men and women, but please join us in applauding the parents, guardians, grandparents, family members, who help make them the wonderful people that they are. This is a wonderful event, and the fact that your daughter or son is here tonight and prepared for a career or college readiness opportunity is a, re is a direct result of the hard work by countless teachers from preschool, kindergarten, elementary, middle school, and high school. The most important aspect of public education is competent, knowledgeable, and caring teachers. Would all of the teachers from Bellevue Independent Schools Please stand so we can recognize the investment that you have put into each student that is graduating tonight.
graduates, please move your tassels from right to left. You are now alumni of Bellevue High School. Be true to the Tiger traditions. Congratulations to the class of 2021. At this time, graduates, please rise as we play the alma mater and then remain standing at the end for our recessional. <laughs> 